Hey traders, Cousin Vinny coming to you on Sunday, February the 22nd, 2015 from theclosingprint.com In this video, we'll cover setups towards the end of the video. We'll look at setups in the 10 e Sto macd time frame and the Bollinger Band TTM squeeze, among others. What we're looking at today, in addition, are the indices at new highs, the SPX, Dow Jones Industrials, and the Russell are at all-time highs, and the NASDAQ is at 15-year highs. Tick and Tick Q for the NASDAQ are at highs. They are entering their seventh week without a crossover, and trend is showing us extremes intraday last week with exhaustion possible from the buy side perspective if you read you Carlwitz post this weekend the fat pitch and we're looking at breath positive on the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq we're watching currencies the US dollar continues to move sideways Bollinger Bands are tightening Bonds are close to a confirmed buy if you follow the 10E Sto MACD setup and the setups again that we'll look at shortly. Let's take a look at the spiders. Last week we pointed out that we broke out of this range at the 207.24 area, I believe, taking these pivots we flagged right along the 127 extension and now we have the 1618 up here at the upper Bollinger Band. It's possible that we could push higher until we hit the upper Bollinger Band before moving back in. However, we are looking at Stowe overbought and we are watching Stoke RSI which is embedded up here above 80 currently at 1. So this is very strong and bodes well for the bulls going into the week, barring any caveats that might push the SPY lower earlier than expected. We are watching the 1618 and the 127 extension at this point. The fact that we're inside of the Bollinger Bands, standard deviation one, standard devi deviation two, we see a lot of setups working that we'll go over shortly. Taking a look at the NASDAQ composite for a moment, we see the similar sideways range that we broke out of. Note the pivots here, this recent low up to this high above the volume by price levels. We passed right through the 127 extension, much stronger than the S&P 500, and we were very close to the 1618 Fibonacci extension. Doesn't mean we have to stop there, but we are getting ahead of ourselves and I would expect to see at least some selling at this level in the very near future. Note volume, looks really good. The other thing is we're pretty far away from the 10 EMA, so at a minimum I'd like to see equilibrium and prices come back to the test the 10 EMA before moving higher and note that there's no overhead supply up here so theoretically there are no sellers. That said STO is embedded and the last thing of course is NDX A50R the number of stocks trading above their 50 period moving average is starting to get into the caution zone so we would rather be buyers down in this zone here with STO oversold and MACD giving us a signal using the 10E MACD STO setup that we pointed out on a previous video if you've watched it. And of course the Russell we continue to see small caps doing quite well at all-time highs 
upper Bollinger Band. 10 EMA is much closer, however. We tested that on Friday. Stow is overbought, so we're in a caution zone here. And MACD is above its signal line. And of course, lastly, the Dow Jones Industrials Average, which of course is only 30 stocks, but it looks pretty strong. We broke out of the sideways range on Friday. We could see further upside. We'll be looking at the components for trades going into the week as well. Note that we tested the 10 EMA on Thursday and Friday and we found buyers. Stowe is overbought however and MACD is above its signal line. So this was looking pretty good. Looking at the candle glance of the Dow Jones Industrials Components we have slow stow set up. Last week we talked about Boeing was really going space shuttle and stow is overbought. Caterpillar continues to move lower as price moves sideways along the 20 period moving average, the blue line. Cisco overbought, flagging out here after a gap up. Disney embedded, GE embedded. Goldman Sachs, nice little flag and breaking higher. We have highs here to test at 195. We're watching financials this week as well. Home Depot, a nice flag, trying to push higher. Stowe is near overbought, but could see higher prices. The moving averages are moving higher. IBM, we have a crossover. Still trading at lows and could break back into a range. Let's take a look at the daily chart. You can see this Kirby level here. Prices are really starting to get a move on. We talked about the fact that if we got above this Kirby line that we could see a nice move up to the 180 level very quickly. Looks like that's in the cards. However, slow stow is overbought currently. Perhaps a flag first and a setup going into the week. Intel right above the 20 flagging out. Johnson & Johnson Staples and Pharmaceuticals, JP Morgan, nice flag here as well, very similar to Goldman Sachs, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, getting a lot of bad press lately. If everybody hates it, probably a good time to buy it, just saying. 3M, saw a lot of people talking about this stock last week, Merck, Microsoft, Nike getting into overbought. These two are embedded. AT&T starting to get set up here. Let's take a look at AT&T. Don't like the chart. Travelers, nice test of the 20 period. Insurance looked pretty good. Prices are above the 10 EMA. Note where we are with volume by price. Slow stow could set up better and MACD is above its signal line. So we got two or three criteria setting up on travelers. Check out the other insurers too. United Health, United Technologies conglomerate. Healthcare has been doing good the last couple of weeks. Let's see if this test, this recent high double top possibility, slow stow is reaching overbought. Maybe this breaks out, maybe it finds resistance. We'll see how this plays out on United Healthcare going into the week. MACD is pushing back above its signal line. So Visa 52 week highs above the 10 period EMA. Slow stows pushing back up. MACD above its signal line. Verizon flagging oversold stochastics. This probably looks better than AT&T. Yep. Good setup here. 10 EMA slow stow turning and MACD above its signal line. This is a go. If we see this trade uh, start to move higher, what I would do typically is I would check the shorter time frame. Actually, let's do it this way. Look at the 15 minute. Look at that nice channel break. Moving to the upside. Use this as your entry vehicle. You want to see slow stow down here, obviously, for a better setup. I could cycle very quickly on Verizon.
60 minute. You can see this nice channel moving averages are crossing over. Looks like we could get a nice buy there, but note where slow stow is. So typically what we do, we have a nice setup on the daily 10E, stow, MACD. We'd wait for this to get back down in, in this zone here before buying, but we may not get a chance. This might be embed up here and prices might take off on Verizon. We look like we have at least a point, two points up to this recent high. Okay, and then you have Walmart, which saw the news having to increase wages and uh, of course Exxon Mobil energy starting to look better I'm trying to get a breakout here we'll see how that goes with crude oil prices uh, moving off the highs last week this is 60 minute tick cumulative note that we had a nice crossover on Wednesday towards the end of the day rallied Thursday and Friday so this is looking pretty good looking at the daily tick cumulative note the distance between recent crossovers to the downside I would bet that near an upper Bollinger Band an extension of this trend line and tick cumulative not seeing a crossover in seven weeks that we would see something soon we've seen seven to eight consecutive closes higher on the indices we haven't seen that since February so keep in mind that we're very close to a caution area we probably hit that on Friday and I would keep that in mind for any trades going into the week on the long side on the indices individual stocks are a different story just look for relative strength if the market does start to move lower and stocks continue to move higher we want to trade those stocks because when the indices turn around those will be the first ones to take off and tick cumulative on the Nasdaq looks good as well note the upper Bollinger Band on prices and the same duration before a crossover so we should see a crossover soon on tick cumulative I would think as we mentioned breath continues to look good NIMO the McClellan oscillator is in positive territory if we look at the NICE, the summation index, continued to move higher. When we see a crossover to the downside on this breadth indicator, that would be an indication that we need to be very cautious. The advanced decline continues to move higher, so breadth looks really good. Let's look at the NASI for the comp. NAMO positive, moving off of those highs with the comp moving higher, and the NASI nice smooth crossover to the upside beginning of February and we'll watch this one for a turn soon so let's look at some setups this is the three criteria scan we look for prices above the 10 EMA slow stow near third uh, near 20 and turning moving higher recently and MACD above its signal line. Acadia Healthcare, remember healthcare providers and healthcare in general continues to look good. Pharmaceuticals and biotechs we're right at this upper trend line. Prices are above the 10 EMA, above the volume by price levels in this nice ascending triangle pattern. Slow stows turning. This is a fairly thinly traded stock so keep that in mind and we have MACD above its signal line. AFSI, Ameritrust, Amtrust Financial Services. They're in the property casualty insurance. Note this little cup and handle pattern. We pointed this out on a blog post this weekend. We have 500,000 shares traded on Friday. We're holding the 10 period EMA. MACD is above its signal line, the 1226, and Slow Stow is trying to turn. ELY Callaway Golf for you golf players out there flagged out hit the 10 period EMA prices are above the 10 EMA we have this Kirby pocket and very little overhead supply interesting volume being accumulated slow stow did turn from oversold and MACD is above its signal line this one looks like if it could flag out some more takes out the highs on volume continuing to accumulate this one could continue to move higher as well 
Chico's CHS looks pretty good. We have a flag down to the 10 period EMA. We have no sellers up here basically. Viam picked up on Friday. Slow Stow is near 20. Watch for it to turn. And MACD is above its signal line. So this one's looking pretty interesting. We saw buyers on Friday. And note the volume that we saw last week on Friday. Previous week. CME Group looking very good. Flagging out after a nice appreciation in shares from the 84 level. Ran up $11. Flagged out. Consolidated its gains. Price above the 10 EMA. Nice volume. Slow stow turning near oversold and MACD above its signal line. This one will likely take a move higher soon. If you do take it, make sure you have a stop somewhere inside of this candle. If it takes out more than 50%, we'd probably get rid of uh, we'd probably stop out or a loss of the 10 EMA. Either one, whichever one you're more comfortable with on CME. Cooper Tire and Rubber Company, CTB. Similar We've been watching the 50 period moving average. Price is coming down to the 10 EMA as well as testing the 20. Bollinger Bands are starting to move apart. There's no volume up here to say, speak of. Nice volume, slow stow. Didn't get down to oversold, but it is turning higher. Nice volume and MACD above its signal line. We have all three criteria. If you could get a trade somewhere less than 50% back into this Friday candle that might be a nice entry if we see prices turn about on the intraday charts. If you look at the CTB 30 minute chart you can see we're flagging out here as well. Slow stow is starting to move lower. If we get this down to 20 and turn and MACD stay above its signal line, price stay above the 10 EMA, maybe you get a better price at around 37.50, 37.60 and get this to reverse you might have a good trade on CTB Cooper Tire. Costco we talked about an entry on this one remember earnings are soon I believe you'll have to check that we're flagging out here right along the 10 period EMA we have this volume by price bar Bollinger Bands are starting to tighten uh, slow still looks like it's going to turn over we may take that trade off as MACD just dropped below its signal line so we're pretty much flat we got in I believe Tuesday so we're right around the area where we got into the stock and look for a trade setup that looks better, being that we have earnings in the very near future. CSG Systems, a NASDAQ stock in the software and technology industry group. We noted this pennant pattern last week and pointed out slow stow as it turned previously with MACD above its signal line, which it continues to be, how the prices just took off as Bollinger Bands were squeezing. Right now Bollinger Bands are very wide so we expect to see these come back in. Volatility is pretty high so I'd probably only trade common in this case because the IV rank on options are probably pretty high with this volatility being as wide as it is. Slow Stow is set up though and MACD is above its signal line and price above the 10 EMA. So we're watching this stock for a breakout Dynasty, we're watching the 50 period moving average here and this volume by price level with slow stow turning, MACD above its signal line, prices above its 10 EMA. We're seeing, we're going to watch how prices trade right around the 50 period moving average this week. E Trade looking a little bit better than the other broker dealers, ETFC, flagging out right along the 10 period EMA. The Bollinger Bands are starting to tighten. We have no overhead supply. We're above the volume by price levels. Slow stow is turning, price above the 10 EMA, and MACD above its signal line. So we're going to watch for this possibly to pull back into this candle and give a better setup and possibly a move higher on E-Trade Financial. EPAM, we pointed out a few weeks back when Bollinger Bands were tight, we noted this channel pattern, price is coming down to the volume by price support level below. We had slow stow turning from oversold and moving higher and MACD above its signal line. So we had all three uh, criteria when prices got above the 10 EMA here and we broke out of this channel. 
continues to move higher probably would have got it stopped out on this these two reversal candles off of this nice stick if you got back in on a 10 EMA and continue to trade this higher we would have stops somewhere around the 55 56 level uh, if this continues to move higher on EPAM that's gonna do it for today we pretty much ran the length of time that we we want to put in on this video we don't want it to get too long do recall that we have setups on the IBD 50 which we posted on the blog as well that's at the closing print.com CV blog note this is case sensitive so if you just type this in uh, that'll bring you right to the blog be sure to check that out because that's where we set up for your new followers that's where we put all of our trade setups for the week and for the day typically the IBD 50 list is what we covered this weekend on Saturday we sent that post out note the links here inside of this first paragraph for you new traders who want to know how we trade these links here will let you know um, how we put together our trade setups and what we look for before we take an entry okay so I hope this helps. This is Cousin Vinny coming to you from theclosingprint.com. We are putting together a new, fresh new look. We should be updating the site very shortly. Look forward to that coming into the future with more targeted information for new traders, uh, strategies, and subs. Be, be sure to check out theclosingprint.com. And I hope this helps. Take care, and we'll talk to you on Monday.